Hey guys and welcome to my full day of eating quarantine edition. So basically this video is primarily going to walk you through all of my meals while I'm making them and while I'm eating them. I won't record you. Uh, I won't record myself while I'm eating them. I'm not into AMS, <laughs> AMS or whatever that is. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'll be showing you my meals. Um, and I keep my meals relatively simple so it doesn't take me a lot of time to make them. And they are relatively healthy food choices. So for example, the first meal is just gonna be two pieces of toast with some peanut butter. The macros for that is gonna appear right here. And then um, I'll take you through the other meals as I get to them as well. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing this hat. First of all, first of all it is seven o'clock in the morning. I don't typically get up at this time. Um, so don't feel like you have to. I woke because I just dropped my girlfriend to work. So I decided to eat as well because I woke up hungry. Now for the gym, let's get to the cooking. Now, as you'll notice, there's not much cooking going on. All I did is click the button for the toaster and the toast's gonna pop out. Now, I'm gonna have to move you uh, because I need the kettle and I want a cup of coffee. Yeah, so let's do that. Where can we put you? Not the best position, but yeah, it'll be fine. So, um. You know what, I'll do this smart thing, I won't even try to talk over the kettle because I know it'll probably ruin the volume for this voice. So what we are doing. So, let's try out my sign language. No. saying oh boy I need to take such a weak ass coffee it's because I don't drink coffee for the caffeine I don't actually feel the effects of caffeine I remember I used to have to take it was two caffeine pills uh, well I, I didn't have to but I chose to take two caffeine pills in a day and two caffeine pills was the equivalent of eight cups of coffee and then I would feel a kick and then I'd be able to concentrate in college when I went in early that was the only way I was able to do it and that was the only way I was able to function the uh, reason behind that being was because I used to stay up pretty really late to talk to my girlfriend who was living in the States at the time. So, uh, I got so carried away with talking to you that I think I actually burnt the toast. Now, that's kind of embarrassing. And I don't know if I want to include that in this video or not. <laughs> we'll have to redo the toast. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get the coffee done because I can't burn that, can I? I'm just going to blame it on how early it is and I'm going to blame you guys. So, alright. Now, because I am trying to uh, limit the amount of calories that I am taking on a typical day, I do tend to go with uh, low fat milk. So, but I only figured out, I only realized how much uh, calories are actually in full fat milk when I was making smoothies. These smoothies are turning out to be 800, 900 calories because of the amount of milk that I was using. So, for example, it's like three, uh, 350 calories in 500 milliliters of milk which is insane this is almost half of that so i just go with this uh, and as you saw as well so sweetener i use sweetener because um you are trying to limit the amount of calories that you're taking in and i haven't been using sugar in a long long time i tried to avoid it uh, under any possibility whether i am watching my calories or whether i'm not watching my calories it's just pointless calories to take in so um for those of you who do like who do still drink sodas and stuff so, um, guys they're just pointless calories that you're taking into your system just because they're liquids doesn't mean to leave your system fast or anything if you're taking in 130 let's say 130 calories for a normal coke that or that you consume i mean there's still calories that are going into your body and you're losing out on potential food that you might be uh, wanting to eat later on so don't do that guys just take the calorie free option or just avoid sodas altogether I mean that tastes just as nice as soda Um, doesn't have a fizz in it but if you want to make a fizz you just put in some sparkling water and voila magic um, and the calories in this are relatively low I'm pretty sure yeah five calories for 250 milliliters of dilute which is insane so right do we burn the toast how burnt is that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 
question is, am I willing to make another piece of toast? Oh, we think we're gonna have to make more toast. Well, I'll see you when the toast is made, guys. All right, guys. So two pieces of toast. Now we're just gonna apply some peanut butter. Uh, you know, ah, yeah. Yeah. So, we go for the smooth option. I didn't manage to burn the toast this time, just grand. And then, um, trying to do this one hand, yeah, no, so meal number one is going down. Um, guys, I will see you for meal number two. Cheers and bon appetit. So, we just came back from shopping, but I'm not really excited about any of that food or anything like that. Instead, I just got a package and packaged it from UPS. Shout out to all you UPS workers, hashtag. David Stair is my best friend, shipped this out to me. Um, other delivery companies take like two weeks to get to you and they don't even call you when you don't answer the door, which I absolutely hate. Uh, these guys called me, even wrote me a note telling me that they left the package in my shed. So, so nice of them and I'm gonna open it now. So, so it's from HP Nutrition. For those of you who don't know, it's probably the cheapest uh, Cheapest website you'll get protein or any other supplements from. So I've been ordering from ordering them from a number of years. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Jeez, I wish I was. Um, but yeah, they're yeah, they are fantastic though. Honestly, like it's like two day delivery usually. Uh, sometimes even one day your back is blocked and they yeah. So, I didn't get much. I just got myself a tub of protein. So, gold standard weight, best protein you can get. Uh, what flavor is that again? Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla, vanilla ice cream. I can't wait to try it out with my smoothies. Um, I have another one out here as well. So, this is just a chocolate flavor. Uh, that's it. So, hey, fun unboxing. Uh, I am absolutely starving, so I'm gonna get in my second meal at the day. Catch you then. <laughs> Hi guys, so we're on to meal number two. Meal number two, another simple meal again. It's just gonna be a smoothie, right? So the smoothie is going to be between six and 700 calories, depending on how filling I want it to be. <laughs> depending on how filling I want it to be. Um, I will include the macros at the end of it anyways. Um, so what we're going to include in that, we're going to include a cup of oats. We're going to include a scoop of my new protein, which is ice cream vanilla flavor. Can't wait to try that. Um, then I'm going to include half a banana and 400 milliliters of low fat milk. Um, I explained earlier why I'm choosing to use low fat milk because the limited calorie intake will become even more limited if I did decide to take in extra calories just through liquids. Like I'd feel hungry more often and I wouldn't feel as full which would make me want to cheat on the diet so that's not what we want. Ultimately you want to choose a diet that you can stick to and not have any issues sticking with. And if you have issues sticking with it and you regularly cheat on it then that's not the diet for you and you need to figure out what diet is actually for you. Without further ado, let's get to making this. got the scoop from the other protein tub. I'll find this eventually.
Right, so meal number two. That simple, took about five minutes to do and I was doing it pretty slow because I was talking to you half the time. So, um, yeah, I'll give it a taste first of all. See how that is it. Tastes really nice. Really, really, really nice. Um, and as for the macros, you will find them below. See ya. Uh, <laughs> that's nice, isn't that? Uh, see you for next meal, guys. Hey guys, so for meal number three, typically what I do go for is three to four eggs, depending on how many calories I have left. A little bit of cheese, some uh, onions, and then some mushrooms cooked all as well. And we put that all into two wraps, right? So, uh, so given the fact that today is a non-workout day, we are eating lower calories. Uh, since this COVID restrictions have come in, we aren't active. So typically, like a, a typical day for me would be get up at 7.30 in the morning, go into work, stay there for the day, come home. So I was con continuously active, even if I wasn't working out, I was burning more calories than I am now. So since I'm sitting at home working in college work, typing all day, I'm not burning a lot of calories. So therefore my body doesn't need as much calories as well. So I am on a slight cut as well, uh, where I'm aiming to lose a quarter of a kilo every week. The purpose of this is just to get a little bit leaner at a slow pace without losing too much muscle. So, so typically I am eating around 1850 calories on days that I'm not working out. And then on days that I am working out, I eat 1850 calories plus whatever I burn. So for example, when I do a 5k run, I burn 400 calories. So then I'll actually eat 1850 calories plus 400 calories, for example, um, and stuff like that. Um, I did order a Fitbit Lite because uh, my girlfriend has one and I know they're amazing with tracking not just calories that you burn but sleep and everything else so I'm looking forward to being able to track calories that I am losing when I am working out. Uh, as of now it's kind of been a guesstimate maybe like for every uh, half an hour that I work out it's like 100 calories burned or something like that. So typically on a non-workout day my main meal does include two wraps made out of eggs and stuff. So enough of me talking and let's get to the cooking. I'll show you how easy this is. So, just to show you, I have the best girlfriend ever. She prepared everything for us. So that's the amount of cheese that I use. Um, when calculating calories for that, it's always difficult to do with cheese. So I just overestimate it. I just say that's about 80 calories. These four eggs are medium sized eggs. I'm gonna cut up a bit of onions, a bit of mushrooms, and a bit of that. So let's get to it. So you may have noticed I disappear from time to time and now the reason behind that is I was actually doing my dishes while I was cooking. That's definitely something that you guys should do as well. Get better with time management, get better at multitasking, work on those skills, you know. Especially you lads. We know girls are better multitaskers than men so you don't really get to work on that but we men, we do, yeah. So clean, cook at the same time, meal done. So to make that meal it actually took around 10 minutes, so typically it takes Five minutes to make that meal it took ten this time because I was recording this video while doing it, trying to show you how easy it is. And um, now all we have to do is get the wraps, put the food in the wraps, and eat it. Macros for this meal is right here. 
So guys, I have 200 calories left that I consume. I can take it in through bananas, I can take it in through cake, it doesn't matter, as long as it is 200 calories and not more. Uh, one of the misconceptions that people are under is that you have to cut out all the bad food that you eat. That isn't the case. It's all about calories in and calories out. So as long as you're taking in the amount of calories that you're supposed to be taking to lose weight and not more, you can take those calories into whatever you want. That doesn't mean that you should take it into pizzas every day and stuff like that because you will end up feeling hungry. Pizza's not the most filling meal. So you try to take in the biggest amount of food with the smallest amount of calories. So the purpose of this video is simply just to show you how easy it is to make healthy meals throughout the day and, and hit your caloric goals. I know that your, some of your caloric goals are higher than mine and I will do a, I will do another uh, full day of eating video where I eat the amount of calories I need to eat when I'm working out heavily on that day. So a uh, heavy workout day for example will include uh, handstand work, then it'll include skipping, running and then it'll include a workout itself. So, so my calories will be about, at least 600 calories higher than they are on a, on a low calorie day. I'll be making one of those videos shortly, so I hope you enjoyed this video anyways, I hope it guided you somehow. If you want me to create any content in regarding to anything I mentioned in this video in more detail, just put that in the comment section below. So I thank you for watching the video, I hope you're all staying safe, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you soon.